Let's start by doing an introduction to mobile device management, or MDM. Mobile device management is an industry term for the administration of mobile devices such as smartphones, tablet computers, and laptops. The intent of MDM is also to secure mobile devices and corporate data, especially in a bring-your-own-device world. Common mobile device management features include password enforcement, which means making sure that all mobile devices are locked by a PIN or password and setting the minimum requirements. We also have the data encryption enforcement, which can make sure that all of the data on devices is encrypted. Data inventory and tracking in order to make sure that you have an inventory of all of your devices with corporate data or access to corporate systems. And also a very common one, remote wiping of course if necessary. When, for example, a device gets lost, remote wiping would make sure that no one would be able to have access to the data on that device. Now that we have looked at MDM, let's take a look at Mobile Application Management or MAM. Mobile application management software enables IT administrators to apply and enforce corporate policies on mobile apps and to limit the sharing of corporate data amongst apps. It also enables the separation of enterprise apps and data from personal content on the same device. Other common MAM features and capabilities include software delivery often through an enterprise app store or simply help with licensing management. The big benefit of mobile app management versus MDM is really that MDM is able to manage the device, but with the new bring your own device world where we have a single device for both our personal and our work lives, it's more and more important for enterprises to only take control of the corporate aspect of your device and be able to control only that part while leaving the personal apps and content alone. Now that we know what mobile device management and mobile application management are, let's take a look at what Microsoft offers in this space. Microsoft doesn't only have one, but multiple services for MDM and MAM, and most of those services can either work together or be fully separate. The three services or tools that Microsoft offers are System Center Configuration Manager, MDM for Office 365, and Microsoft Intune. Let's take a look at some of the differences between them. The most basic one in a way is MDM for Office 365. This is a basic MDM solution included with most Office 365 subscriptions, and it can manage iOS, Android, and Windows mobile devices. It allows for basic MDM functionality such as setting and managing security policies and remote wipe. Microsoft Intune, on the other side, is a full MDM and MAM solution and requires an EMS subscription or a separate Intune subscription, or if you have Microsoft 365, you already have it included as part of that Microsoft 365 subscription. It includes all MDM for Office 365 features and more, with the ability to manage Mac OS X devices, the ability to deploy apps, and also have in-app policies, for example, restricting copy-slash-paste of data from certain applications. Lastly, System Center Configuration Manager, which is not a new tool. System Center Configuration Manager, also called SCCM, has been there for quite a few years, and it's been used to manage traditional clients or desktops. SCCM is part of the System Center suite that has four or five other applications, and it can be integrated with Microsoft Intune for a hybrid MDM and MAM approach, allowing you to manage all of your devices from traditional desktops running out Windows 7 to the latest iPhone and Android devices. Now that we have done an overview of all of the options, let's focus a bit on Microsoft Intune, and see what features it offers. Intune, first of all, is a service that can be managed directly from the Azure portal, and it doesn't have its own admin center. Let's take a look at a few of the interesting features we can manage from there. First of all, device compliance policies. Device compliance policies allow you to set minimum help and security requirements. You can set things such as updates, encryptions, password types, even blocking USB debugging on devices. So those really allow you to make sure that the devices themselves are secure and up to standard. Non-compliant devices will be placed on the non-compliant list where you can take additional actions. Intune also allows you to add and manage client applications. Those client applications can either be from the App Store or Google Play Store or built in-house by simply uploading the packaged app file. You can then add app protection policies to those apps. 
Those policies allow you to add requirements at the app level instead of the device level, for example, blocking a user from copy slash pasting information from an app or requiring a pin to open certain apps or encrypting the information from that application. Microsoft Intune also allows you to create VPN profiles and deploy them to your clients. This way, users can quickly connect to the VPN without having to configure too many settings themselves and accessing internal apps and files. This is it for the most used features in Intune.